Well, good morning. Welcome back to Thailand My Way. Um, things getting worse in Thailand. Lockdown starting to creep in all over the place. Here in Renong, we're in a red zone. Um, can't move too much, can't cross the borders at the moment, can't cross into another province. So I'm going to have a little bit of a drive around Renong today and see what random crap we can pick up. So uh, why don't you come along and have a look and just see what's out there. up here, block the whole road, the policeman comes out and tries to do his best. You whackers, see they're coming along the outside there to get around. It's supposed to be this hard Cause you're tired of sitting here on your own Yeah, you're tired of the feeling that you need someone Laundry day I need to put a mirror or something there And certainly I wouldn't be parking my motorbikes right there on the corner Coming traffic. Truck full of ice there in front of me. Have a look at this lot coming up here on the opposite side of the road. Those seat belts up there, I'll bet. So, um, yeah, the back of that truck there, it's uh, fresh ice, like that's edible ice. Um, they're taking it down for the, uh, for the boats, the fishing boats. Not really fishing boats, they're more carry boats. They go over to Burma, they buy out the seafood in Burma. Or they go out to mother ships and buy out the seafood off the mother ships and they bring it back in. So they're carrier boats. I'm just sort of entering the area called Bag Klong now, which means Bag means mouth, Klong means river. So we're at the river mouth actually a number of estuaries that all come together down here and then they eventually head off into the Underman Sea and uh, off to the Indian Ocean I guess. I've been living in this uh, area 22-23 years now, not down here but in Renong, 22-23 years now about me matey just worry about what's in front of you yeah a long long time ago so this is a uh, it's a little peninsula we're on here now it's not very wide maybe a kilometer wide not even that 800 meters wide it is here to the left and to the right behind all these shops and everything there are lots and lots of piers and this is where all the seafood comes in it all gets processed also a lot of charcoal uh, gets dealt with around here as well but uh, because it's a fishing industry and they're all migrant workers, all the fishing boats come out of Burma. Most of the crew on the boats are Burmese. This was uh, a bit of a den of iniquity down here. To the left and to the right, it was lined with brothels, you know, 15, 20 years ago. Most of it's all been cleaned out now to service the fishermen when they came in, all Burmese girls. Lots of religious organisations have come in into Renong and into this area 
setting up schools for orphan kids whose parents have died of AIDS and things like that. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to pull into a uh, one of these piers down here shortly. I'll do a U-turn and see if we can see some activity. We're at the very end of the pier. You see this Thai Cac Pier on the left here now? That's actually one of the piers where you can get a boat to go to Kot Bayam and Kot Chang, the two islands that are uh, resort islands out here. Right, we're at the very end of the peninsula now. Excuse the uh, bumpiness. No fishing there, written in English. I don't know why it's in English. These couple of boats maneuvering out here. carry boats as I say you can see all those blue tubs they go into Burma out to the mothership or they go up to Miek in Dwey, uh, Miek I mean in uh, in Burma and they just buy the seafood off the pier then it gets shipped back out here with ice on top of it and it gets sold on again from here I don't know what this is going in here there's not seafood going on there there's something between it's a truck full of foam boxes, that one. So they must be shipping stuff over to Burma. Jeez, oh, that's tight. Yeah, these guys might get upset if I drive in and look at. Lady's got corn on the cob, heating up on her barbecue there. Let's see what this one's doing. As you can see, every single person here I can see now, I can tell the difference, but they're all Burmese. Every single one of them. I was there fixing the fishing nets. See the ice coming out of the truck there. Unload the big blocks into the fishing boat so they can go out and uh, bring back some more seafood. This is the uh, Myanmar transport of choice push bike. Rather colourful, looks like she's in her pajamas, but I don't know. Let's do a U-turn in the shipyard here. If I can uh, in the wrong spot, so these guys are staring me out, so I better get the hell out of here. there in front of us. Maintenance yard anyway. You can see because these guys are working with seafood all day every day they obviously don't smell the best and they never let them sit in the car. They're always on the roof or on the roof racks or on top of the containers or 
very rarely in the cart. down here absolutely stinks because it's just all day every day seafood 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 It's against the law to have people in the back of a car like that, but sorry, banging on the window there. This is immigration down here. That big building at the back straight ahead of us, that's the immigration detention centre for Renong. Like they've got some exercise equipment in there now. A little bit of a recreation area, but they've got three floors of them all up there locked up. Used to be uh, just one floor before, and it was on the second floor. Transport vans. weight there is on that you know just those people alone look at all those tubs and they're all, they're all full of seafood and ice hell of a lot of weight this is how we all get our water see here 20 litre bottles we just uh you can either buy them at one of the Ma and Pa shops, just you swap them out, give them back your empty bottle and they give you a refill bottle. I think it oh, varies, but it's about 10 baht for 20 litres of water. Okay, we're at the uh, the other end of what we call Sapan Pla Road now. This is the road, that main road that goes right down into the seafood area. Sapan Pla, by the way, Sapan means bridge. Pla means fish, so fish bridge, I guess that's the name of, that's the peninsula all the way down there. Many, many, many moons ago it was mangrove and it's been sort of reclaimed over the years and has become what it is now, all the way down to that barg klong that I was talking about earlier. Have a look at this big thing coming up on your right here. Beautiful big building here. Big pillars, it looks almost European. It's been like that for all the 23 years that I've been here. Put the camera back, everyone behind me is getting upset. out there on the hill the guy that built that was what brought me here way back in 1997 the owner of uh, the guy that built that had a casino over in Burma that's what first brought me down here on a little island not far from Ranong had a casino still there the casino now but um, that was a hotel he was building in here he planned to build here in Ranong but uh, he had financial troubles always did have but that never got finished, so that's been sitting like that for 23 years, at least. Now I can't get out now. Now I 
reckon I'm going to pull in over down here somewhere, wherever I can get a park, and I might pop in and have a couple of quick beers at Mr. Pond's. Well, I'm going to jump out and have a quick beer at uh, Mr. Pond's place here on Main Street. Sit and watch the world go by for a little bit, so come along and join me. It's been you all along But I've been too caught up to see it, baby We can have it all If I just could get myself together I'm not wasting another minute If it goes up in flames I'll take the pain If I never try to get it I can just forget it I'm done playing the waiting game I'm so done I'm all done playing the waiting game Baby, like the stars I've been a million miles away But you been... You know, it's, uh, it's a very Chinese thing, setting off the firecrackers. Most people will tell you that's because they, they want to scare off the spirits. But in reality, uh, it's a sign of uh, prosperity, or they're hoping for prosperity. The more you light, the more your life will improve. This is the back road out to my house where I live. Um, we've got Burma off to the camera's left. Sunset's about to happen. I'm just about home, just having a quick beer here to watch the sunset. Both get 
get there our wrong way Thistle and an apple tree How different two souls can be But we both grow from the same sorrow If we both know we'll be together tomorrow I can be like a tree in the wind Same old roots but I can bend Turning to understand and sway together